Bailey is your winner of the Women's Royal Rumble in a match that saw Chelsea Green take more bumps than 90 Shawn Michaels. Now the haters are saying, okay, Bailey only won because nobody could lift that absolute dump truck over the top rope. And you know what? They may be right, but I'm excited nonetheless because her win is shades of Batista winning the 2005 Royal Rumble. Let me tell you why. When Batista won the Rumble in 2005, he was still a member of Evolution, but he was slowly getting pushed out. I think we're going to see the same thing happen with Bailey, and the result is going to be the same with Bailey dethroning EO Sky and damage control as a whole. I, for one, am here for it. I love a good crashing down story. It's who I am as a person, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Shout out to AJ Styles, who I suppose, as a tribute to Vince McMahon stepping down from TKO's board, decided to also retire the black dress suit pants that he was coming to the ring with. That was about time. Long overdue, AJ. Finally got some good ring attire. Now, Solo Sokoa, to the surprise of nobody, interfered in the match, and also to the surprise of nobody, Roman Reigns ended up retaining his title. Now, at what point do you not just have Solo start the match inside the ring with Roman Reigns? I mean, he's going to end up being there anyways. Why save, the, why, just save everybody the trouble of him coming down through the crowd with a hoodie on? It's not like we don't know who that is, right? The whole thing is just silly. It's repetitive. Hopefully, we only have a few more months that we have to stomach this. I cannot believe it. For the first time in professional wrestling history, a referee was not completely freaking oblivious. Now, unfortunately for my man Kevin Owens, that ended up costing him the United States title, but that was a fun match nonetheless. I still don't know who the hell that was that ended up coming over the barricade. Was I supposed to know who that was? But anyways, Logan Paul just continues to show that he is elite, he is here to stay, he is more than just a celebrity, clearly by now. And I expect a very big spot for him at WrestleMania. In my opinion, I think it's going to be LA Knight versus Logan Paul for the US title. My only hope is that Logan Paul does not cook Knight too much on the mic and low-key in the ring as well. <laughs> Run it back, Cody Rhodes is your first back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner since Stone Cold Steve Austin did it 26 years ago. Now, I just know that Tony Khan had to be sick to his stomach seeing that final two. Okay, maybe if there wasn't also a live AEW collision going on, Tony Khan would be live tweeting on the toilet in between his vomit seeing the final two of the Rumble. I mean, Cody Rhodes and CM Punk, he had them in the palm of his hands. They were squandered. And I'm not even going to go into Jade Cargill making her debut in the Royal Rumble match. She looked phenomenal. She looks like a star. All these people are leaving AEW to go to WWE, and I don't think we've seen the last of them. Look, admittedly, I was one of the thousands of people who thought that Cody Rhodes should have won last year at WrestleMania. I thought that this year was going to be boring and predictable. In some ways, it has been. But also, there's something to be said about long-term storytelling. I know that's so cliche to hear, and we've been beaten over the head with it in all these post-PLD press conferences by Triple H. But in this case, I think it's true. And I think at WrestleMania 40, we're seeing a, a pattern, right, of, of all the WrestleManias with the round numbers, WrestleMania 10, 20, 30, and now 40. It's always been the workhorse's moment, right? You think about WrestleMania 10, Bret Hart, the whole pay-per-view was pretty much about him. He was the working man's champion. He was not the prototypical Hulk Hogan mold. He became champion at WrestleMania 10. Fast forward, WrestleMania 20, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, two workhorses finally getting their pat on the back. Fast forward, WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan, the whole pay-per-view is built around him. He finally climbs the mountain and becomes world heavyweight champion. And now at WrestleMania 40, I think we're going to see Cody Rhodes finally finish the story. For your main event minute, this is Joe to WrestleMania signing off. Until next time, guys, take care.